What's up Aquarius, this is Jesse with 44 Astro with a general tarot reading for the full moon coming up on October 28th. It will be at five degrees Taurus at 424 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, for Aquarius Ascendant, it will be in either the fourth or the third house. So that's the house of your home. You may be thinking and feeling differently about your home or your mother or like a change in some way or wanting to spend more time with your mother. Third house, house of communication. Maybe thinking and feeling a specific way about communications with individuals or just in general. It could be something to do with your siblings as well. It's a house of siblings. Um, it will be in the third mansion of the moon. And I'll put a picture of the third mansion of the moon up so you can read about it. It's called Altharaya. It is not good for new relationships, but it is good for making money. With that being said, Aquarius, let's get to your tarot reading. I did recently just get back from Seattle. That's why I haven't made a video in a while. I had to go teach a class up there, psychology, to a bunch of law enforcement. And I caught COVID while I was up there, and I've been recovering ever since. I still can't smell or taste, at least not, not completely. <laughs> it's quite terrible. I had an eight-hour overlay in my flight getting up there. Then I was able to do my class, and then I caught COVID right after. So it was pretty brutal. So hopefully your, your time has, last couple weeks has been going a lot better than mine. Let's get you an overall Moonology card. Looks like you're feeling stuck in a situation. You're asking about a specific situation. You're feeling stuck or you're trying to get a new perspective on it. Ooh, those two wanted to come out. New romantic cycle begins. Oh, I don't know if I see a ton of love cards here. New romantic cycle begins. Yeah, it could be about a relationship. And your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Well, if your plans are to getting a new relationship, whatever for whatever reason or in whatever way, um, you need a practical plan on how to do that. Question looks like you're feeling stuck, so that might be why you want a new relationship. Either you feel stuck in the relationship that you're in, or you just feel stuck where you're at and you want to get in a new relationship for you know new adventures kind of thing. Four of Pentacles, Five of Rods, and then the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man, you know. Feeling stuck. Could be a new perspective or you want a new perspective on a situation. Because there's a lot of arguing or squabbling. Could be with your significant other. And you're feeling like you're having to be like this. Very stuck. Or very obstinate. In this current situation. Maybe your current partner or just, just your life in general. You're feeling like you're having to be like this and you don't like it. Having to hold on to every penny kind of thing. So the current path, some Aquarians will be on this path, some on the other path over here, or some will have a choice in between. Some could be on both. Um, it's not focusing on the positive. Like you have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is like an inheritance or like a happy home card or having it all, or some kind of message um, coming in about that. But it seems like right now you're not focusing on the positive. It's like some kind of message coming in that's good, but you're not able to focus on it for whatever reason. <laughs> Like you're not seeing the happiness. You're not being able to focus on the happiness at home. It feels like that whatever your home situation is, because, you know, that's what this can represent. You know, it could be inheritances, it could be home. You know, you're feeling like you're not able to focus on the happiness there for some reason. You don't like the communication. Or you don't like the idea of where you're at or how it's panning out. You know, it could be that you have plenty of money, but you still can't focus on the positive because you, know, you feel like there's squabbling going on arguments in some way you know this is another path that you can take or that some others may be on and it's you know going inside you know being at peace meditating that type of thing you know being patient you know there's an offer coming in something new some kind of new could be new love offering you something valuable or you feel like a new love is what will give you something valuable whether you're single looking for love or whether you're in a relationship and you're trying to find a new love life because a new romantic cycle begins. Your plans need a practical plan. You know, it's saying walk away from the past because the Six of Cups can be people from your past. And you got the Eight of, you got the eight of Cups walking toward the Nine of Cups, right? This is all emotional type energy. But it looks like you're walking away from the past and walking toward your wish. Whatever your wish is, it needs a practical plan. It looks like it has to do with love or a new relationship, just maybe a new life in general, which it also involves, you know, new romantic relationships. 
but you're gonna have to walk away from the people from your past or from past situations and walk towards your dream but you got to make a practical plan you know the outcome could be marriage right because there's the hierophant but also could be you know in the wheels of fate turning and he's walking right toward them you know you could be you could have fire in your chart but it could be that it's a fire sign individual that you meet and then end up, end up marrying type of thing and it could just be what you're passionate about you know moving toward whatever this new opportunity is it's it's big you know and it could be divinely guided with these two together you know, this is divinely guided stuff this is like you know the higher thing can be can be god or it could be like the, whatever the powers that be or the person that's interpreting god's will on earth you know in the will of fortune and so this is all maybe destined there may be no way around it but you still have to make a practical plan right you don't just want to stumble into it whether it be a new romantic cycle whether it just be a new home new job you just you're feeling stuck and you're trying to change it's time to change it looks like you're feeling stuck but you need a practical plan to get out of it and it could have something to do with romantic cycle could be that you're feeling stuck with your significant other. Could be that you don't have a significant other and you think that will help you not feel as stuck because you feel kind of just like you're going through the motions type thing. And maybe you feel that you'll be able to, you won't have to like uh, worry about money as much if you have someone else helping. You know, But it looks like money's not going to be the issue. It looks like it's more just feeling stuck and finding a change. Could be with a water sign. You may be finding a water sign I mean, it could just be emotional change you know you're feeling a certain way about the current situation but it looks like you're manifesting a swift change it could be you're mani trying to manifest you know this sweet individual it didn't have to necessarily be a water sign individual or you could have water in your chart but it could be the, that type of individual a sweet romantic poetic type individual that you're trying to manifest into your life maybe you've already found them and you're going that step and you're having to you know, get a new perspective so you don't feel stuck anymore. Maybe there's a swift change coming. Maybe your significant other is a Queen of Cups right now, and then you're you know, about to make a change. We'll get the devil. You know, the, and the devil is easy to be associated because, you know, God the devil, it's really just us and the way we live our lives and the way good and evil flows through us because we have to interpret good and evil, and they're inseparable. But the only way they have any definition or interpretation is in the lives of humans, through us. And you got the devil, but you also have luxury and success. So it's like, and you have with this five of cups here, it's focusing on the negative. That's what the devil wants, the, the devil in us. That's what it wants. It wants us focusing on the negative aspects of things. Instead of understanding what luxury is, which is understanding the good with the bad, that they're inseparable. And that's what's going to give you success. So you need a practical plan. New romantic cycle begins, but you need to understand that the good and the bad are always going to be together. They're inseparable. So not everything's going to be good. Not everything's going to be bad. It's really just you, really, and understanding that it all has to work together through you to even be what it is. Make a practical plan. Now this other path over here has you know victory. You know it's it's like a new opportunity over here. Could be a new relationship. Could be a new job. But, you know, got Six of Rods, which is victory. Got the Princess of Pentacles, which could be new money, could be um, an earth sign individual. It looks like balance. It's temperance, which is art. And it could be the, maybe that's what it is. You want to create art. Maybe you want to be an artistic individual. Aquarians can be very artistic. They think differently. That's what their sign's all about. Creating new things, making old stuff new, bringing it forth in a new way. And, that's, and that could be part of it, too. Maybe you just want to rebuild your current relationship in a new way or a whole new relationship in general. Or it could be something that you're creating like at work. You're feeling like the way they've got you working or the things they've got you creating, you just you feel stagnant with it and you want to do it in a new way. Now this is on the advice. You got the high priestess, you know, the queen of pentacles and then the prince of swords. So, you know, it could be communication about something that you're trying to create, that you're trying to nurture and be valuable with. You know, he was walking toward the wish. And, you know, that's a practical queen. So it's making a practical plan. And, you know, the, you have to go within to find the wisdom of that practical plan within. 
because it's being communicated to you. You just got to listen. I mean, you do have the hermit up there. Listen, go within, and you will see. You will see what the answers are. The practical plan will be a lot easier. You know, the outcome, four of four of pentacles, ace of swords, two of, two of rods. So in this deck, two of rods is dominion. That's creating what you want in your own way, under your own will. You know, and then you also have the ace of swords, which is clarity or truth. And then you have the four of pentacles, which is power in this deck. So, you know, that's, that's what's coming. Truth. Your truth and dominion and power for what you're trying to create, you know, whatever this divinely guided situation is. But you need a practical plan and you're probably going to be going through some kind of new romantic cycle, either getting a new partner, or, you know, or separating from an, an old partner, getting with a new partner, or just finding a new uh, romantic partner. But understand that you're going to have, there's going to be good with the bad. And if you're, and if it's, you're trying to stay with your initial relationship and you're trying to rebuild it, you know, look at it in a new way. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that, that can be a good thing. Reinvent your relationship. Anyway, that's all I got, Aquarius. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. I'm sorry it's been a while since I made any videos, but like I said, I've been sick and I'm trying to um, recover. Um, either way, I'm glad for you being here, and I hope to see you here again. Happy full moon, Aquarius.